Let's work an example now, which uses a little bit of trigonometry, and try to solve for an unknown number in this problem, given a bunch of known numbers. So I've drawn here an interesting triangular shape. Uh, what, remember the sides of the, the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. I've given two angles, one 30 degrees, the other 12 degrees. And I've said that this distance from the one corner of the triangle up to the side, the point right underneath the apex of the triangle is four meters. I'm asking to know how far it is from that apex over to the other corner of the triangle, which is labeled dimension B. So I've given four possible answers here, and the question is which one is correct. Well, this triangle can actually be split up into two triangles, and that's kind of what I've shown right there. If so, then the two triangles, the one on the left and the one on the right, share one side in common. I don't know that side, but I'm going to call it uh, x in length. And by definition of the tangent, the tangent of theta is equal to x over a. It's also true that the tangent of the other angle, alpha, has x in the numerator, because that's the opposite side to that angle, but it's x over b. If I divide these two expressions, then I have tangent of theta over tangent of alpha is equal to b over a. In other words, b, the thing I would like to know, is equal to a tangent of theta over tangent of alpha. If I use my calculator and plug in 4 meters for a and the 30 degrees for theta and 12 degrees for alpha, I find that B is approximately 10.9 meters. So the correct answer amongst our four choices is B.